Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, my name is Judd Reed. I'm 43 years of age and I come from Melbourne, Australia. Two days from now, I'm going to get a total hip replacement. And I want to show that the Thailand medical system is some of the best treatment in the world. And we're going to document all this and show you. Pretty much going straight forward up like that is not too bad, even though it is quite painful to do that. But anything, anything to the side like this or back like that at all, I can't do. I can't do it all. At the moment, my hip has got arthritis and it's degenerated my hip to a very high level where I can't even walk properly, I can't raise my leg to the side, I can't raise it forward. And the last doctor that I saw seven weeks ago said, yeah, your hip's very much gone, it, it, it needs a total hip replacement. I can't even bring my leg up to this angle here. There's, there's my balance there. We'll go into the side, where I can put before, I can put my leg straight up this way here, on this angle here, I can put my leg as high as I can here. And I guess, yeah, it's just affected everything, my everyday life, and my body is really deteriorated. I'm a martial arts instructor, so I can't teach karate properly. Not only affected my work, but also my family life, which is the most important thing to me, of course. I've only got a three-month-old baby boy, so when it, when it got to the stage where I'm actually scared of carrying him and walking with him with him in my arms, thinking that I might fall over, so oh, that, that was it. That was the, the last straw, so to speak. The reason why I decided to have my operation done here in Thailand, uh, financially it's half the price compared to Australia, and the waiting time is, I can pretty much, I'm getting it done in, in two or three weeks. Compared to Australia, uh, using the health insurance would have, would have been a minimum of a year and a half wait. I actually have done a lot of research into the Thailand medical system. Obviously, I'm coming all the way from Australia to here, and um, you know you, you want to have faith in something that you're travelling overseas to do. Um, and you know that as well. A lot of people around the world are, are coming to, uh, to Thailand to get operations done now. It's, it's a, it's a world-known fact. You know, when it's just such a relaxing place, and uh, I was just thinking as well, if I was back in Australia, especially now during the winter time here, I'd be you know, just, uh, locked indoors, I'd be freezing. I wouldn't want to go outside because of the injury that I've got. And it's just so hard to walk around. But here, when you know, just it's very care, easy going, free, friendly lifestyle, beautiful weather. Uh, it's, it's pretty relaxing. It's a great place to have a medical treatment done as well because it's a relaxing atmosphere. The food's great, the people are wonderful. It's got all those above things which you want to have when going into an operation. I lived in Thailand for seven years and I taught at a martial arts centre here in Thailand. During those years that I was living in Thailand as well, I had a, a few experiences with the Thailand medical system. So that gave me a bit of a, a uphand knowledge into the system and gave me a lot of confidence about it as well. Uh, generally the Thais speak pretty good English and uh, even the doctor that I, that I saw two weeks ago, the actual surgeon himself, his English was fantastic. So we just communicated 100% uh, in English there. I'm not feeling nervous. I'm actually looking forward to getting the operation done. It's, uh, the, the, the doctors here are, are very professional and, and they make you feel at ease, which is, is, which is very important. I saw the Thai doctor for the first time three weeks ago and amazingly tomorrow I'm getting my hip operated on, which is so quick. Uh, Australia would have had to wait at least a year and a half, two years, and that's a long time to wait. So I'm here now, I'm getting it operated on tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, about 10.30 in the morning now and I'm, I'm actually having my operation at 8pm tonight. As soon as I walked into the hospital they made me feel very welcome, they were great. Communicating with the doctors and the staff has been really, really good. They've actually got an interpreter as well who's been coming in, in and out and making sure that it, everything is okay and do, do we need any help with any questions or anything like that. Around 2 p.m. Yes. you have to stop eating and yes. drinking. Okay. And from what I see today and from what I can just, ah, just my experience so far is just, it's, it's world class. It's so professional, it's so clean. And I guess this is a serious operation where you do put your life in their hands. And I'm like, I have complete, absolute confidence in them. I feel like it's more like a hotel. and I've forgotten that I've actually come here for an operation. <laughs> my name is Dr. Kirati Jalan Chonwanit. I'm a specialist in hip and knee replacement surgery. I have performed hip and knee replacement every day for 17 years now. Over than 10,000 hip and knee that I replaced. Knowing that I've got a new hip tomorrow, ah, it's going to be fantastic. You know when you're walking, you just feel full of life and you're walking, you've got that, that bounce in your step, so to speak. I'm looking forward to having that feeling again. For the judge, hip, the surface is not smooth, so when he's moved, 
it limit motion and pain. For treatment of this, we take this part out. We take it out and we put the new one in. And this cup, we take the bone out and put the new cup in. The patient has no pain. Very smooth, very clear and very friendly to the body. Thinking back how it was before and I know how this is now, I'd be jumping on a plane tomorrow coming here to get this done. Why would you wait any longer and, and to live in discomfort knowing that you've got facilities like, like this which is absolutely amazing and you can get yourself fixed pretty much on the spot. A few hours I'm about to get a, a serious operation I'm so much at ease, I'm feeling great about the whole thing. There's no doubt in my head whatsoever. Let's get it on now. Let's get it. Let's get it happening. I got out of the operation theater about 12 midnight last night. Ten and a half hours later, I'm actually feeling quite good. I'm feeling lively. I'm feeling uh, yeah, full of energy. I'm pretty surprised how good I feel. What are you doing, man? How's your days? And the nurses have also come in to check my blood pressure and, and do the bits and pieces like that. Can you go like this? Yeah, yeah, I did. This one too can do too? Can do. Now can do? Mm -hmm. They came and did an x-ray on my hip a few hours ago as well and just to um, yeah, overlook everything and make sure everything's okay. Take your lunch? Yes. Red for the PD. Okay, oh, right. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the doctor said that the operation went very smoothly and everything went really well and I'm really happy and just, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, do the, to doing the rehab now. The first couple of weeks, the muscle will have some weakness but he can do daily activity to gain normal strength that take two or three months after surgery. I think they want me to get up and start walking. The nurses made me feel very comfortable and at ease. I feel like I can push it more than this, but I won't. That's right. It's like learning how to walk again. It actually felt quite comfortable. Believe you know, actually felt uh, not too much pain there. I could feel just a little bit, but it was okay. 48 hours later, I'm standing here in front of you now without my crane, and I'm feeling the top of the world. My body feels strong. From one to ten, if you said I had a from the pain barrier, I would say it wouldn't even be a one. It'd be a, a 0.5, just a little bit of swelling around the hips, kind of feeling. But otherwise, I'm feeling the top of the world. Tomorrow they're going to have me walking up and down the staircase and, and doing different scenarios that you would do in normal day activities. And then from there we're going to, they're going to reassess how I am and hopefully I'll be out of here in two days. This is day number four, my third rehab session. Yeah. There's hardly any pain there at all. I'm almost walking normal yeah. and um, I'm checking out, checking out today, one o'clock. My decision to have the hip operation done here in Thailand was a great choice. My body, my legs, everything else, my head, I've got no fever or, or any of those things that, they, that you perhaps can get in operation. I'm feeling a million dollars. This is the fourth day now and I'm checking out. Overall, I've had a fantastic experience. Yeah.